Well, it got rained out in the driveway on the radial drill press project, but that doesn't mean I can't move in indoors and get back on the milling machine, and that's exactly what I'm doing. And uh, I'd like to uh, thank everybody that's interested, makes comments, and subscribe. And I actually have a subscriber that I uh, hadn't seen in decades, uh, Kelly. That, that's pretty neat, and hopefully we can get together sometime. Now, I'm going to show you an exotic boring head. Okay, let's have a look. Get you swiveled around. I'm going to try to look through the camera and not goof this up. Now, this is a tree taper boring head, but it also can uh, do facing operations here and you can rotate it like that and it's got a scale here see i could put it at 90. and one of the neat things you can do with this that uh, uh, might not have been discussed is you can go down into a hole and back face it if you need to cut on the back face the back of a hole as well as bring it up and uh, face the top of a hole. You can also, with it set at 90, um, put a grooving tool in it and cut a snap ring groove. Okay? And the, the way it works, the way this travels, is there's this gear train in there. And here's the lock. And you, and you stick an Allen wrench in. And then you stick and loosen that, then stick it in all the way, and then you can adjust the slide. See that? I probably should tighten the angle thing, but that's the slide there. Okay. So, let's set that down there. Now, the way this feeds is it rotates in the machine. Okay. Machines rotating it, and you have to do it by hand as you grab this upper collar. Now, this particular head, every rotation is five thousandths feed. Now, <clears throat> this is, there's a slow feed head and a fast feed, and I think the slow feed's like two and a half thousandths, maybe half that, and they're considered more desirable. Except, you can be tricky. This is the fast feed. And I actually like it better because it gives you an option. To get a fine feed out of it, you just let the knurled ring slip in your fingers. And you can grab it like this. Just like that and, and, and feather it. So you got the option of high feed. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope I'm not confusing everybody on this thing. So it, uh, it has a lot of options. And you can, uh, you know, cut bevels and, and, and things like that. And, and the way, um, oh, I just saw how that one works, and I'll show you. Um, now, the way these tool holders fit on here is with this taper, but that doesn't mean you have to use this. You can cut a taper in a piece of steel and braise a piece of carbide on it. You know, and shorten something up, make something custom. Okay, I just, I forgot exactly what this does. This is part of that uh, back facing. This tool here hooks on this, on this tool, see? Like that. And that's your... Uh, you can back face all kinds of things that way. You know, even cut a groove from behind. So this is a, quite a, a, a handy thing. And, and uh, I, I do work using this in a, a wall hopter, and people do wonder, well, just how did he do that? And that's why I'm showing this to you. I want you guys to get crafty. <laughs> and people go, how did he do that? Well, this is one of those just how did he do it tools. <laughs> All right.
enough of that, but what I, I wanted to introduce this um, uh, because I'm going to be applying this. Uh, this is something I regularly use, and also I'm going to adapt this head. It's got a more jig bore shank in it, and I'm going to adapt it so I can use it in the horizontal spindle in this milling machine, and uh, it's a vertical head. And um, let's see what. Uh, oh, okay. Let me get the camera off here. And uh, on the milling machine, now I got that uh, horizontal arbor in there. And I just got, I had to order this. I just had a tiny piece and I go, man, I don't want to try to make a bushing, but this is just the bronze I need for here. Got it from MSC, but found it was like 12 bucks cheaper uh, on their site on eBay, but had to wait a day or two more for it. And uh, I think the total price was like 42 bucks or something, which is a good deal. That'll last a while, but I'll make a bush in there for that. And I got the, I got the arbor in there. And, you know, I, I have to, there's sag and all kinds of stuff. And I, I want to bore that bushing that I put in there at uh, right where it's going to sit, like right in that area. Okay, so I'm getting that measured up um, so I can get a uh, boring head out here somehow to uh, um, bore that. And I should be able to do that. And uh, so I got to make some adapters and stuff and uh, that'll, that'll be fun. So um, I guess that's probably the best I can do on a rainy day. You know, um, I can't turn around too much because I only got the shop half, to, half cleaned up. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get back. But this here is the fabulous and exotic tree boring angle cutting and facing head. Okay, thanks for tuning in. We'll have some fun with this. Okay, bye. Thank you.